accessory, he's actually the captain of the Kayumaru and he also owns the North of Nago Charters. And we're specifically talking about the USS Emmons today. So Chuck, just tell me about how we get to the marina where your boat will be and then also getting out to the actual USS Emmons dive site. Okay, well, uh, if you come into the port, we uh, go out of Shoya Marina, okay? And it's uh, on the way to Okuma. So if you've ever been to Okuma, you've actually passed the marina. about a 15 minute uh, ride out to the USS Emmons dive site. USS Emmons is actually located about 2,000 meters north of Korojima Island. It was in that vicinity uh, on April 6 when it started taking uh, the kamikaze hits. And the whole ship itself it's kind of laying on its uh, starboard side, port side up, about 110 feet, and then the sand's about 145. So it's, uh, it's very, uh, when, when you see it, it just, it overwhelms you. So this month, with the dive site being the USS Emmons, um, it, it, this exemplifies why you need to be trained for the level of diving you're going to be participating in. The wreck itself lies in anywhere from between 110 feet of water down to as deep as 150, 155, mm -hmm. which is beyond the recreational limits. When you're diving much deeper than, uh, than uh, say, a 30 to 40 foot reef dive, your, your air consumption goes much higher. Um, you're also, if you're diving with a wetsuit or something like that, the, the wetsuit material, the neoprene, compresses, so your buoyancy is a little more critical. Mm -hmm. Just a quick reminder about the foster facility, it's still under renovation, but the retail space should be ready to go shortly. Also, with summer just around the corner, we have a lot of openings with Tsunami Scuba, so if you're looking for a job, make sure to check it out. We'll see you next time.